When you translate from one medium to another, let's say from comic books to movies or video games, something is lost. You can't translate 100%. You have to adapt to the medium you're in. That's kind of natural. When you go from, let's say, anime to live action, there's lots of things in Japanese animation that can't translate well to real life, real people. So hairstyles, body proportions, um, set designs, etc. So there's, there's some things you have to forgive that just can't be done because you don't have infinite budget, you don't have an infinite amount of time to, try to get the, the literal look of something from one thing to, to another, like hair color or hairstyle. Kind of hard to do that. However, some things are possible. Some things can be done well. And in this little post, I'm going to show some things that are very important to Cowboy Bebop, one of the, the best animes of all time. It's probably one of my favorites. And the creator who's trying to explain this, this concept that is very hard to do things from this 26-episode anime because there's so much stuff in it. There's so many nuances. There's so much inspiration. But we're not, we're not going into all the themes and, and motifs. We're just going on two things. And that is smoking and phase clothing. So it's, it's just a strange thing to, to talk about that he can't figure out or can't do. So other smaller changes are also being made in translation, as one would expect. For example, phase revealing costume from the anime has been toned down a bit for Netflix's costume design because, as Grillo put it, we need to have a real human being wearing that. And while the characters still smoke, okay, let's go to let's go to Faye. Okay, here's the actual actress, and here she is uh, doing. I don't know what she's doing actually. <laughs> she seems like an adorable actress. She's uh, well proportioned. Uh, I think she can do a decent job, and we can look at her chest and, and find she looks healthy and beautiful, etc. Not too big, not too small. She can pull it off. Being a fae shouldn't be that difficult. The clothing, if she can wear these clothes, she should be fine. So here's some cosplay of fae. And they all come in different shapes and sizes. They're all wearing exactly the same clothing. Here's an excellent one. This is almost perfect. She's a human being. She's wearing it. I don't know how modular, I don't know how flexible that clothing is when she walks and, and runs and does whatever. But looks good. Again, women of various sizes and shapes can pull this off, and they've done it. All you got to do is look at comic conventions for the past 20 years, and oh, it's just, it's just fantastic. You can, people can do this. Now, unless there's something in production we don't understand that Daniela Pineda cannot do, I, I, was, I, I think she can do it. So I don't know what part of her clothing is so difficult to pull off, a halter top and and a skirt, I don't get it. So, who knows? It just it just sort of raises a red flag. But the other one I'm more concerned with is this. And while the characters still smoke, the habit may be a bit less glamorized to reflect modern sensibilities. Now, hold on a second here. When you're doing a translation or an adaptation from a noir, and if you don't know noirs, they have a lot of smoking in them. And that's essentially what Cowboy Bebop is. It's a noir story. There's lots of noir elements and motifs. And if you've ever seen noirs, black and white noirs, uh, the Maltese Falcon is a great example. Not only are they smoking, they're rolling their own smokes while they're smoking. It's just this constant smoking thing. It's, di it's dirty, it's gritty, it's a smoky, romantic, dark story. So Grillo told us it's about finding a balance between honoring the spirit of the original and adapting to the medium and audience. I'm sorry. If you can't have your actors smoke with fake cigarettes or fake cigars or whatever, you're not going to figure out Cowboy Bebop is a noir. Uh, it's just, uh, it is so detailed in Cowboy Bebop. There are brand names for all the cigarettes and cigars and cigarillos everyone smokes. So... It goes with the Chinese future motif that in the future everyone is influenced by the Asian community and Asian culture. So they either speak Asian, there's Asian gang gangsters, um, and there's Asian names for these cigarettes. So Zing Mao is one of them. Um, there's Marlboros and there's Lucky Strike. So here's uh, some of Spike's Zing Maos. Um, there's all kinds of pictures of Spike and Jet and Fei 
and all sorts of other characters smoking up a storm. I think Spike ends up smoking a pipe in the first episode. Uh, there's a casino episode where Jet is smoking a cigarillo. It's just constant smoking. Everyone is constantly smoking. It's a motif. Everyone is smoking. There's a cigarillo from Jet. Uh, this is a scene where <laughs> Faye and Spike are smoking. And there's always the animation of the smoke moving around. Everyone's just about to put their their cigarette out or puts it out to run. Or they're, they're tapping their cigarette on a, on a beer can or some sort of ashtray. Uh, here's one from, uh, I think it's called Wild Horses or something. Yeah, and Spike is just waiting because his, his plane broke down. and it's just, He just smoked an entire pack of, I don't know, it could be Turkish. I have no idea what those are. It's, it's a theme. Everyone's smoking. It's dirty. It's gritty. It's a noir. It's a space opera noir. It's beautiful. Why would you, why would you not have that constantly? It's like saying... Wow, they're always drinking soda pop in this show. Let's go easy on the soda pop. It's like, no. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't change what's, what perfectly works and tells a story on its own that these people are these kinds of people just by smoking. And they're smoking everywhere. And sometimes they can't smoke. And it's just, it's this thing they do. And I think that's part of the, the coolness when we talk about cool characters like Spike Spiegel and Jet Black and all these other elements in Cowboy Bebop, that's part of it. And the more you take away from that motif, the less it becomes based off the original material. So here he goes. You've got a show where you have 26 episodes that are full of very colorful villains, very colorful stories, very colorful adversaries, bounties, and all of that. We're not going to go one-to-one -one on all of the stories, nor do we expect him to because we're all tr also trying to tell the broader story of Spike and the syndicate, Spike and Julia, Spike and Vicious, and all that, which is good. They're focusing more on Spike. He's the, one of the main characters. He should get more than four episodes of a 26-episode run. As fun and cool as that show was, there should have been more plot, more heavy, more heavy plot elements with Faye and Spike and Jet. Who are some of the great villains in this show? And how can we put them into this and into its broader narrative so that we are telling both of the big stories that Cowboy Bebop tells? So I'm glad he's focusing on stories. I'm glad he's focusing on plot and characters. That's all great stuff. You, could, you can't go wrong with these characters. You, you can screw it up because you suck at translating, but you can't go wrong with Spike and Faye and Jet. There's, there's enough for you to work with. But to take away the things, to take away their vices, like smoking, or their, their hang-ups, or their past, which is extremely important. The past of these characters are one of the major themes of Cowboy Bebop, that you can never escape your past. Your past is catching up to you, that there's a debt you have to repay. Faye has a literal debt she has to repay. Jet has a, a, a familial debt he has to catch, he has to deal with. And, and Spike has the biggest of them all. His whole life was dependent on that. So this is the common theme. And if you take away things like vices, like gambling, like smoking, like drinking, like what's, what's next? Drinking? They're not going to have drinking as much in this, in this series? They, uh, was a, <laughs> uh, Spike is, is always recovering from a hangover. He's not getting enough nutrition. They're not getting enough food. Uh, that's sort of like these are, these are necessary components of these characters and their conflicts. The, the little things that we might take for granted, these people haven't figured out yet. That's what makes these characters great. So a little, little sad to read this story. I hope, again, I, I hope the best for all of these great stories, for all these great, great adaptations. I want these, these things to work. It just, when you hear this, you're like, oh, you're taking away little details that matter quite a lot. So hopefully I'm just overreacting. Hopefully the, the director, creator, producer person is... You know, just filling in time and, and lying to us all. <laughs> but if you guys have any information on what you think about the Cowboy Bebop Netflix adaptation, uh, any information about the character designs for Faye or the clothing and costume designs, just that looks like that is perfect. The hair is perfect. The, the outfits, it's just, just hire that lady. <laughs> Please leave in the comments below. Thanks for listening and have yourself a great day.